I added a little Christmas tree to my background. Anyways, yep, that's something new for today. But today is the 3rd of December, and like I said, of course, at the beginning of some of my other videos, that this isn't a 25 days of Christmas. I'm just seeing how long I can actually review cars consistently for before I decide to stop again. And of course, with all the news as well, etc, etc. Yeah, today we'll be taking a close look at Noi Yuki from 2022 Singles Case M. There is his artwork, which you can pause and, of course, screenshot if you wish. I know people do. He is from Cars on the Road. Of course, he was seen in Episode 3, The Salt Flats, or Salt Fever. Here he is in the packaging. He does look pretty cool. Of course, he does actually fit the packaging as well. I mean, you probably could have fitted Sarah Cobbs right next to him, like... Pushing him over a little bit more and then had Sarah Cogs on the side, they might not have needed a two pack. He is made by Mattel and, of course, is metal on the back because I did get this in the UK in stores in the UK. There is no other cars on the back of the packaging apart from his prototype image. So, yeah, there is Noyuki's packaging. I will buy it back with the camera all lowered down with Noyuki out of the box. There is Noyuki all out of the packaging and he's a lot heavier than you would expect out of the packaging i mean he is still quite light but he is again still quite heavy anyways of course we don't need to really show where he appeared in the short because he was one of the main characters but he has got a very nice smiling expression i guess he could be worried that mate is about to die but he doesn't but he's happy so i'm not exactly sure why they gave him a happy expression maybe a determined expression would have made more sense He's got this very nice yellow cap as well, reminds me of the haulers. He's got an orange light on top. He's got this spanner logo on the side too. And he's got all these bits in the back, which I will compare into some other die casts in a little bit. On the base, no, he does not, doesn't have a sandy base for once, so I'm not exactly sure why they gave some of the Silk Rats characters sandy bases and him not. It makes no sense. But he is made in Thailand. There's the back, not too much to talk about. And here is the other side. It is the, exactly the same as the other side, except for the orange light. Pretty, pretty cool. There is Noyuki. Now I can compare him to some other characters that might look quite familiar to him. Here we have Galloping Gear Grinder, of course, with the bits on the back as well. I mean, would you say they look very familiar if you have both of them in your collection? I would totally agree. I mean, they both come with accessories, you can kind of guess or say. And another one that looks very familiar from Cars 2 again is Alexis Wilson with all the extra added on tyres on the back. Pretty cool. So yeah, that does end my review on Noayuki. Unfortunately, I don't have the two-pack of Sarah Cogs yet. Tomorrow, I will most likely be reviewing Greebles, comparing them against all the other, of course, lemons don't forget to check out my previous video on revo cause that's jamming and all the others until the next video which will be tomorrow peace everybody